So, I have something I've been deciding we should maybe discuss a little bit. Because we've had two conversations lately that I'm wondering if that's how everybody else is thinking. And it's uh, Paul who's brought it up to me. So, just last night and a couple of times like lately, you said to me, you can't review a movie based on what you like because you're a 61-year-old man and this movie's not geared towards you. Yeah. And my argument is, I am a 61-year-old man reviewing the movie. I have to review it as if what I like. Right. Right? The other thing you have said in the past is, you can't compare movies when we're giving it a number. We can't compare it to good movies of the past. No, 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 no. I think you have to. But you're saying you have to rate it based on the, like how Hollywood's putting movies out now, as opposed to, you know, rating it what we feel it should be. Like if Hollywood's putting nothing out but but sevens, it's the best movie they put out, and then we see a bad movie, we have to rate it. We can we ha an okay movie is now a four a no, five. That's the opposite of what I think. But that's not what you said at the time. I, then maybe you misunderstood me. Or you're not very clear in what Maybe. you say. <laughs> but, okay, going, but, going to your first point. Yes. Okay, uh, you shouldn't uh, rate a movie targeted towards a certain audience based on your likes, because you're completely outside of that audience. And a couple examples might be, uh, I personally would not find any value hanging the Mona Lisa in my living room. Right. And... Mm -hmm. For me to go and say, because that's the case, it's a 3 out of 10, I would be a laughingstock. Because the Mona Lisa is the painting in art in the entire world. Right. So you have to, you have to judge the product, not necessarily based on your preferences. Now, just because I don't have Beethoven's Fifth Symphony on my playlist, I cannot say that it is a crap piece of music. Because it is the definition of music, and I have to understand that. Okay, but um, on the flip side of that, I can play you a song that is number one on the charts right now mm -hmm. in the rap charts, and you will hate it because you will not like that song. And are you going to come out and say, well, you know what, if you're from this generation and this, it's a pretty good song. You don't know because you don't know it's a good no, but, song. But that's what you have to do. You have to explain that it is impossible for you to rate this. It is like, I do not have the credentials to rate this music as is, but I will tell you what I think about it. See, here's the problem with that. Movies nowadays are being made at specific individual targets. And none of them are us. <clears throat> well, Lately, mostly, it seems. Yeah, but I mean, but we're the ones reviewing it. And if people want to know, especially people who are watching us who are, say, the same age and the same mentality, they want to know if they should see it. Mm -hmm. Not whether or not their nine-year-old nine should see it, unless it's an animated kids movie. Right? When we're doing an animated film, we said, you know what, your kids would probably really enjoy this, and as an adult, yeah, I'd avoid it, but if you're bringing your kids, or say certain movies, we would say, you know what, it's not bad watch if you're an adult neither when you're bringing your kids. You won't hate it. So I get what you're saying, but you did rate the last movie that we went to see, what was it, uh, uh, with Cena? Was it Cena? Freelance? Freelance. You rated that a three. I didn't like it. But a three? Yeah. And I, yet, someone that we went with rated it an eight. Yes. Okay, so... But they have so no that, movie but, taste at all. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a very, very wide spectrum. Okay, but I, as I said in that, this felt like it was made for streaming to me. I did not laugh in this movie okay, at all. Okay, but there are movies that were made for streaming... That are good, but I and I will reserve way more than a three. Yeah, but this this was not a fun movie to me. I rated it what I thought. I liked. It. Did I like this movie? No. Did I laugh in this movie? No. Was the action good in this movie? No. Was the story good in this movie? No. So I gave it a three. Why should I give it a higher rating when none of those things were good to okay, me? So, see, although I, I believe that a three is too low, that's you. You, you explained 
what you hated about it. Yes. And this movie was not aimed at an audience specifically that wasn't you. No. However, this should have been good for if me. If we talk about um, uh, My Little Pony movie. Yes. Okay. Now, My Little Pony movie might be an epic movie for kids. Yes. And if you look at it objectively and can't find anything wrong with it, like absolutely wrong, like what was that real life naked man doing in the cartoon? Right. Okay. If you can't find anything like that, then you have to say that I have to objectively look at it, not subjectively look at it as a 60 year old man. No, but I go into a movie like this. Am I going to enjoy this movie first? And I'm probably not going into a My Little Pony movie. Unless I'm bringing kids. I don't know. You go to see some weird... <laughs> I, well, sometimes movies. I'm just bored. But I, like, I will watch it with a fresh pair of eyes every time. And if it's a definitely geared to... But here's the thing. Here's a, here, here, here we go. You maybe finish a thought. I, I, well, okay. If it's geared towards <laughs> kids, we always clarify that this is a movie for kids. And we're adults. I think your kids will enjoy it or they won't enjoy it. Yeah. Right? That's perfect. So okay. I rate it for me. It's not for me. So I would rate it as this. Okay. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Now we go and we see a movie geared towards uh, the LGBT community only. It's all LGBTQ, the like whole bros. story, the whole, like, bros and stuff like that. And you go see that movie, and if, if, it, if you don't enjoy it, do you say to yourself, well, I'm not part of the LGBT community, so maybe they will like it? Do we have to start clarifying or something? Well, this is, ge Marvel's is geared towards 13-year-old girls. Well, because I'm 61-year-old man, can I, do I give it a higher rating? Okay, but here's the thing. Now you go watch something like Bros, and it's yeah. it's. I could, I could just picture you watching Bros and then saying, "Well, it's not for me," and us going, "Uh huh." <laughs> Maybe it's targeted towards a certain group. Yeah. Okay. But if you watch it, and the only thing that's holding you back is you're uncomfortable with the topic matter, but it's a good movie. Well, that's a, that's a different. If I'm laughing at the movie, I will say I like the movie. But if I go, I'm just using this. If it's completely not enjoyable to me like i'm not laughing i'm not finding the jokes funny i don't like the story do i say it's better because it's not geared towards me no no i should always be honest like we did last night okay, the but, but, but here's the thing okay like you watch it you're not having fun because you feel uncomfortable but it is objectively a good movie and then you say well it's not for me sorry it's a five except for one thing i wouldn't be uncomfortable to me it's a movie I don't care what the topics are, what the subject is. I find it, is it an enjoyable story? Is it a good acted movie? Is it fun? Mm -hmm. That's all I could care about. I really don't care about the subject matter. I really could care less that something's up there. If it's cringy, like, like here, to me last night when we saw the Marvels, there's a singing and dancing part in this movie. You thought it was whimsical. At least that's what they were trying to go for. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cringe. Cringe. And it made me enjoy the movie less. But I'm not going to say, well, you know, maybe the 13-year-old girl will like it, so I'm going to give it a 7 because it's geared towards them and they would give this a 7. I'm going to say, no, I did not enjoy this movie. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't a fun watch for me. And, I, and when you say you will never watch this movie again, there's no way this should be ever above a six. Okay, well, well I think you just have to, when you're, when you're giving your opinion, you clarify. The reason I'm giving this a six is because this movie uh, just did not appeal to me on ever, any level. And uh, honestly, I don't even think its target audience would like it. Well, you know what's funny? Because we did the Marvels last night. You gave it a 6.9, no, 5.9, right? I gave it a 5.5, okay? Um, not, not a dumpster fire by any means. You can sit through it, but you probably never want to watch it again. But the audience score, supposedly, right now on Rotten Tomatoes is 86%. Well, here, uh, Rotten Tomatoes has already been proven to be infiltrated by the people who can yeah, manipulate but scores, except, right? Except the official reviewers are at 50-some percent. 
So it's the audience that's way up there for some reason, which is usually the opposite, mm. right? So maybe we're wrong, well, but I mean, well, the box office will portray. No, no, now think of it this way. <laughs> The people who would probably rate it lower are not even going to see it, and therefore not reviewing it. Yeah. Right. Unless they review bomb. So. Yeah. The reviews will be higher skewed because the people who want to see it are the ones who are reviewing it online. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I just thought like that makes being, sense. We cannot watch a movie not ourselves. No. Right? We have to watch it on what's enjoyable for us. You guys saw Freelance. We went with somebody that you brought with us. They loved Freelance. Yeah. They thought it was great. I did not. However, I see probably way more movies than they do. I've been a little... A oh, little I've guaranteed. Been, I've been alive longer. I've seen better epic movies than they have. Right? So, when I see the quality of movies coming out from Hollywood, I know they can do better. Like when, when, can they? when everything they everywhere lately. all at once came out last year was amazing. Great story, a whole new spin on things. That's how you make a movie. And then we go see the Marvels, which was a paint by number AI written story that has been chopped up to have two different feels to the movie. One is whimsical and one is serious and they didn't know where to go. It was just to me, eh. Just I have all no, full of eh. I have no interest in seeing that. Not we we didn't really neither. No, because, but. You see, you see, I think that's the problem is that Disney is making us feel that the movies that they're putting out are for all the Avengers fans. Well, that's not true. Now you're putting it towards a target audience and you're not yeah. telling us. And so now when the, the whole Avengers, Avengers audience goes to see it. They're disappointed. Yeah. They're saying, what is this? And also, they're, they're dumbifying everything. Like, there's no heroes in this. Like, not the hero. The villains in this movie was terrible. Even the plot. You know, somebody wrote the other day on the, here, the, on the Mar like, they showed a picture of Spaceballs. And they said that Marvels stole the idea from Spaceballs. Because if you remember in Spaceballs, they had the big spaceship in a vacuum and they were sucking the air out of the Earth, out of the dome in Spaceballs. Mm. And so that's basically the plot of this movie. It's, you know... It, Every story's <laughs> been told. It has. But, I mean, if you think... It, Spaceballs like, told it better. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. This was a horrible villain we're movie. We're not talking about no, but I'm Marvels saying, again. I know, but... I'm reviewing it based on all these different criteria, and I cannot change how I feel about a movie just because they geared it towards 13-year-old girls. Okay, well, see, that's, that's where I think we have to be honest as reviewers and say, okay, this is for me. I'm a 60-year-old man. I've been around. I know what to compare it to. And for me, for these reasons, I'm going to give it this score. However, I fully acknowledge that this movie is targeted towards probably 13-year-old uh, girls, and uh, will they like it? We shall see. I think this is probably a good movie for them. Which we did in the thing. We did clarify that this was for 13-year-old girls in our but now, opinion. But now here's the thing. Had you gone and said like freelance, oh, this didn't connect with me whatsoever, it's a three. I would say, okay, but what about the people who this movie is actually for? Is this a three? Was this was Except, the Marvels better than Freelance? Ex no. Uh, well, you would have to say yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least it had yes, oh. something in it. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. Don reviews movies based on how much rage he's feeling at, at the, the time, moment. and he's not reviewing based on the whole scope of Hollywood. This was a six in the '90s. This is a six now. Except this is a six in the 2000s. Except. Freelance did not feel like a theatrical release movie to me. It felt like a TV movie, or it felt like a streaming movie, and it felt that way in the quality of the filming and the story. At least the Marvels feels like it should be in theaters. Okay, but Mark just asked you, was the Marvels better than Freelance? That's an easy and question. It, and it is, unfortunately. Okay. But you instinctively said, no, no. No, I said, well... <laughs> Because I, I, I did not enjoy the Marvels, but I gave it the benefit of the doubt. Two and a half full point, two and a half points above Freelance. It should have yeah, been an easy answer. Because at least you. there was good action and everything. There was nothing good in Freelance. 
The action was not good. Name me a good action scene in that movie. We laughed at the quality of the action at the end of that movie. Just saying, I asked you a simple question and you instinctively said, well, no. Well, I wanted to say no, because I did not enjoy the Marvels, but no, it's, it's, it is better. Okay. It is but much better, in my okay. opinion. Well, that's where I stand. Okay. I also think that a six today is the same as a six ten years ago. Okay. Because that's we've had that argument in the past, and I said no. I I, I got to review it on how I feel no, because the quality of a movie. You're downgrading the scale. My scale is standard. <clears throat> ten is a uh, best movie of all time. Nine is uh, a the movie of a generation. Eight is an absolute must see. Seven, uh, I enjoyed time. it. It was a good movie. Six, it was okay. I'm not upset. I paid money for it. Five, I'm upset that I paid money for it. Yeah, that's basically where I go to. Seven is an enjoyable movie to me. I had a good time. This was great. And then everything works up and scales down from there. All right. So, okay, we're starting to get more on the same page here. Were we recording that whole time? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs>